This is part two of making a thin section of a granite. I've adjusted the mouse before. Now I turn the setting device around again and I take out the mouse. And now I begin to grind the first side. I hold it on the machine. The, this knob shows to the front. I hold it, I turn the machine on and I'm using a rock this and I, I try not to touch the grinding surface with the feet. I move it a little back from the front to the back See what I do? You hear it's ready. Now it has 1.4 million millimeters. As you remember, we have 1400 microns at the setting device. Now we change to 1300, 1, that means I take 100 away. I again turn back the feet completely and I put it into the setting device. I close and now I adjust to 1300 microns. Now I change the disc. I take out the rough one and I put in a 35. And now I grind more carefully. I don't I do not press down. It's ready now. And now I press the button and I take the sample out of the thin section mouse. I use now the polishing mouse. I put it in here with the spaces. I can hold it very good. And now I put a little bit of ethanol on the surface. And I finish the surface of the sample. The machine moves this way, and I move now this way as crosswise. I wash it very carefully. If I'm not sure about the cleanness of the sample, I hold it for some seconds in a ultrasonic bath to clean it again. I make sure not to lose fibers of a cloth on the sample. It disturbs the picture afterwards on the microscope. And now I wait until it's completely dry. And now I cover the surface of the slide around the sample with a thin layer of Epospeed S to avoid that. And the next step
the two classes are glued together. A thin layer is enough. That's good. Now I put the sample into the jig again. I open the wee case. I put the jig in. I close this. I turn it on and I start it. Now I can open it and I take it out and I have a look on the resin. You see it's not blue anymore. If uh, here is anything blue, I turn it again into the chick or I turn it around and I put it into the chick and I cure it one more minute. But as I can see it's okay now. Now applicate a drop of Epo Speed 20 onto the sample. And I put a cleaned slide on the sample carefully to not to include air. I watch if there is not any air anymore on the glass. Then I turn the sample upside down and I put it carefully into the chick. I close the chick. And now I wait for some minutes. After two or three minutes of waiting time, which allows the layer to get very thin, I put it into my wee case and I start it. Now I put the double sample into the separating tool. I close it. I leave it for some seconds. I take it. I watch out not to burn my hands. And now I can turn it a little bit and separate the sample. Now on one side here's the sample and here is the glass. Now empty.